And happening now, a public hearing over a controversial zoning issue in Villa Hills. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kristen Hartman. A $150 million development is in the works, but the plan is receiving major backlash from the community. Not on your sides, Ashley Zilka reports from Lakeside Christian Church, where the meeting is underway right now. The meeting room inside this church accommodates 900 people and we have seen dozens, if not hundreds of people come inside with a lot of different opinions on this project. The zoning issue involves the sanctuary. The piece of land is still owned by the St. Wahlberg Convent, but Ashley Commercial Group has placed an offer for the property. The sisters want to sell a portion of their land to fund the retirement of their members. The sale could solidify a development project that would have over 450 residential units and commercial space. You're going to see single family homes uh, detached. You're going to see attached single family homes, so like townhomes, cottages for empty nesters. We'll also have an apartment project. We'll also have a town center, we'll have, which will house the HOA club, uh, hopefully a restaurant, a wine bar, cafe, that type of thing. Some people who live near the property are against the redevelopment. The opposition, Defend Villa Hills, says it will increase traffic in what has been a residential area. It's too close and we're against the commercialization of Villa Hills. Uh, they want to bring in commercial and retail biz business here when Villa Hills has historically been a bedroom uh, residential community since the early 60s. The Villa Hills administrator says he realizes traffic will be heavier, but two traffic studies have already been done to identify those problems. Well, I think it's very important to get this done right, simply because this is the last large acre track that's available in the city of Villa Hills. Uh, there's 115 acres that are available in the heart of the city, made up of two parcels. Uh, this 85 acres that the sisters want to sell, and then the radio station property that's next to it. Kenton County planners will consider this project tonight and keep in mind the sale has not been finalized as of now. We will have much more on this meeting coming up on 9 on your side at 11. Reporting in Lakeside Park, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.